Hi, and welcome. I'm Tom Ryan with Provider Outreach and Education, and I'm here to help you understand who's involved in Medicare's Medical Review Program. This video explains who the entities are, what part they play in Medical Review, and how they complete that part. We'll begin with CMS contractors. First, system maintainers. These contractors own and control the two national claims processing systems. They add automated edits and audits to make sure a service is covered under the law, is not part of another service or a different claim, and if the service has a time requirement between being performed or is a once in a lifetime benefit. So it's important to understand they do not complete complex medical review. Their job is to work with the system which drives the data used for medical review. Next is the Medicare Administrative Contractor, or MAC, and that's us. We perform pre and post pay medical review. Also, we have automated reviews and complex reviews. Let's start with the types of automated or non-complex reviews. We build edits and audits into the claims processing system. These cover policies and guidelines to ensure the claims process and pay correctly and for only Medicare covered services. In order to make sure the audits and edits work, we perform data analysis. If changes are needed, then we adjust the audit or edit. These are different than the national edits the system maintainer adds and updates. So that's two different contractors working with the systems. Remember, the data analysis is the basis for complex medical reviews. We perform complex medical review. We do this pre and post pay. Either form starts with data analysis to justify its need. Sometimes CMS instructs us to perform medical review as part of a pilot program or for a variety of other reasons. When this happens, we follow the instructions given. This is outside the normal medical review process. So let's talk about the normal process. Our prepayment medical review is named Targeted, Probe, and Educate. This process reviews providers creating errors. I won't go through the process during this video as we have a separate video to help you through that. There's a link in the description below to that video. We also complete prior authorization medical review. These reviews are for certain services Medicare uses the prior authorization process for. To find out more about prior authorizations, view our medical review webpage. There is also a link to this page in the description below. The post pay reviews we perform are something CMS instructs us to do. They are not part of the general process, so I can't provide a lot of details here. An example of a recent instruction was to complete data analysis and locate a service with a high potential for errors. Once the service is identified, select claims and review them. This is like the reviews we completed before the targeted probe and educate process began. Other MACs perform medical review for services and claims they process. This includes services for home health, hospice, durable medical equipment, any other services not in our jurisdiction. Be sure to view the Review Contractor Directory interactive map on CMS's website to see if it affects you. There's a link below this video in the description. The next contractor performing medical review is under the Comprehensive Error Rate Testing or search program. This program is part of the Improper Payment Measurement Program. The CERT contractor performs post-pay complex reviews on a random sample of claims. 
the documentation is reviewed to determine if there's a claims error. Once the review is complete, they can instruct the MEC to take actions like recovering incorrect payments or paying additional money. The CERT program also creates a national paid claims error rate and a corresponding report. This is used by various parts of the federal government to determine if the claims processing is working correctly and if changes are needed. The CERT program is not designed as a fraud and abuse prevention program. It is designed to gauge if Medicare claims are paid correctly. The next contractor is the Recovery Audit Contractor, or RAC, working under Medicare's Recovery Audit Program. This program is part of Medicare's Fraud and Abuse Prevention process. All reviews occur post-pay. The RAC utilizes both complex and automated reviews to determine if claims paid correctly. The program targets specific services with potential risk to the Medicare funds. The RAC proposes services to review and CMS must approve the service before the review begins. This means, unlike the CERT program, the claims are not selected randomly under the Recovery Audit Program. Next is the Supplemental Medical Review Contractor, or SMRC. This contractor helps lower improper payment rates and protect the Medicare Trust Fund. They review claims post pay and can do either automated or complex reviews. CMS assigns the review items. Some people refer to the SMRC as a special projects medical reviewer for CMS. An example of a review by the SMRC is a new technology. CMS wants to verify the claims are paying according to the guidelines and the services are properly documented. SMRC reviews may provide data justifying system edits and audits or potential services or reviews by other contractors. Next is the contractor that provides fraud and abuse medical review. This is the Unified Program Integrity Contractor, or UPIC. They can complete both pre- and post-pay reviews. They can also complete complex or non-complex reviews. Their goal is to detect and prevent fraud and abuse. They take referrals from other contractors and law enforcement entities to investigate providers with potential for fraud and abuse. If you never hear from one of the five UPICs, then that's a good thing. If a provider does hear from them and does not correct their billing practices, then the UPIC refers them to CMS. CMS may refer them to law enforcement agencies such as the Federal Bureau of Investigation Healthcare Division. Another entity looking for vulnerabilities in the Medicare program is the Office of Inspector General, or OIG. The OIG is under the Department of Health and Human Services, just like the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. The OIG's job is to protect any program under the Department of Health and Human Services. To do this, they review claims looking for potential vulnerabilities in programs. Remember, Medicare is just one of those programs. The OIG completes post-pay complex medical review. They use the findings to generate reports on issues. The reports are shared with various federal entities including the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Last, we'll talk about the Quality Improvement Organization, or QIO. The QIO works to improve the Medicare program. They perform reviews when a patient disagrees that a facility should discharge them. This is a complex prepayment review initiated at a patient's request after the facility notifies the patient 
of a potential discharge. They also do reviews after a patient notifies them of a potential quality problem or law violation. To learn more about the QIO, review the information on the CMS website. Let's move to appeals and discuss the entities involved with that process. As part of the appeals process, the review entity looks at the information you send when you disagree with the medical review decision. The reviewer also looks at anything previously sent to medical review. This type of review is always at your request and is considered a post-pay review. This slide shows the five levels and which entities complete the review. The MAC does level one, a qualified independent contractor or quick completes level two. Level three is the Office of Medicare Hearings and Appeals, which is an office in the federal government, not a contractor. Level four is the Medicare Appeals Council. The council is another federal entity. Last, level five is the U.S. District Court Review. This falls under the federal court system. Each level comes a medical review to see if they agree with the previous level's processing and review of the claim. For more information on the appeals process, view the CMS booklet on appeals. The description below contains a link directly to the booklet. That's it for this video on medical review entities. Remember to use the links in the description below to view the resources for more information. If you found this video helpful, take time to like and share it. Have a question or comments? Feel free to leave it for us and we'll respond. Take time to subscribe to our channel to receive notifications of new content. We wanna hear from you. Complete the survey using the link in the description below. Thanks for your time and I hope you have a great day.